Hello. Uh, I was bored, so I'm gonna make a late night carbonara video. Um, I'm just kind of making a serving for me. So it's gonna be like four ounces of pasta. So I really don't need that much cheese. Um, still looks like a lot. I only need like about an ounce. This is parm. Um, I've actually never, is a scale on? Yeah, it is. I never actually uh, had tried pecorino. Um, it looks good. I've been meaning to buy a new uh, plain burger plate for this. This one kind of sucks. I'm uh, also making some ramen for my mom. It's right there. I feel like I've put enough for the scale to move up. I guess. Here. Here, I'll just add um, a zero again. And I'll add an ounce. Oh, that water's boiling. Okay, right now. Oh, it's going up. Mm. I'll probably finish this arm to be honest. Yeah, this is like the best, worst part. Making this dish. I wish I had a better um, cheese grater. To be honest, that looks about good. But if not, I mean, I could always add cheese later. Um, I'm also gonna do one egg and egg yolk. Here's my pasta. About this much, yeah. Sure. Oh, nice shell. There is lotion laser. And yolk. Oh, oh, there's a shell in there. Wow, great job. Cool. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh, this video is super stuffed, but you know what? Who cares? I'm watching it, you're watching it. And then, just like a bunch of pasta and carbonara got its name because the pepper in it looks like carbon. Mom, the um, your noodles are ready. Your noodles are ready. Your noodles are ready. A pot. Um, I don't know how to make this grinder go coarser, but it's fine. So if you look at it, it's like little bits of carbon in there. 
I think. I didn't make it up. Whisk. Also in this dish, I will be using, that looks really interesting, almost looks like a, like, a, like a dough, but it's just cheese and eggs. It's kind of tight. Um, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Set up this pan. So I was gonna do like um ah. Doing like a little bit of olive oil, like a little bit. And unfortunately, in this recipe, I'll be doing uh, bacon instead of have enchilada on me. Um. I'm not really going to weigh it out. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. Oh, I already got the bacon out. So yeah, I don't have pancetta. This is bacon. I got it from Father's Market. I'll do like three pieces. Um, if any like Italians watch this, I'm sorry, man. I I'm making like dinner for myself. I don't really care. So I'll take all this. Looks kind of like a lot. Whatever. Sorry. 
So with this dish, to be honest, I'd rather be waiting on the bacon and the pasta. So I'm gonna let this bacon cook for a little bit before I put the pasta in. <clears throat> yeah, so you don't, you could do it without oil, but because obviously the bacon has fat in it, um, a little bit helps it get, helps get it going. I'm just trying to break it up a little bit. Try this out. I have a glass of water. I have a glass of water. So here's my little egg cheese solution. Am I forgetting something? No. Salt, pasta water. And I'll give pasta water. Four ounces, uh, just for me. Bacon's kind of cooking slow. That's okay. Okay, cooked ramen noodles the other day like the hard ones like the, they're good man i've been sleeping on them this whole time but they're like super good i wish i could get like a chip with that flavor in it well i'm not really too sure what to do with this egg white to be honest um i could cook it but i need it like tomorrow i haven't been eating my egg whites too much just because I don't eat breakfast too much. I'll probably just toss it out. And the bacon in this dish, um, somewhere between crispy and chewy. I definitely want to get all the fat out. So I kind of start the pan with the bacon in it and then turn the heat on just to try to render out all that fat. That's where most of the flavor is coming from. That and the parm. Old adage, uh, fats flavor, no cheese, bacon, egg. What more do you want? And the bacon's not really like a protein, you know what I mean? It's not like eating pasta and then you get like a chicken with it. It's just, it's here for the flavor. That's why it's usually made with guanciale or any other kind of like Italian cured meat. Different flavors in it. Different font. Uh, bacon's pretty tame. I've never had it, so I wouldn't know. Turn it down a little bit. I don't know if I want to add garlic. Uh, garlic is non-traditional, but I'm making it with bacon, so let's go on the garlic for today. I'm Filipino, you know what I mean? Uh, we put garlic and everything. I'm, someone correct me if it's wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can just like eat bacon. It's like salami, right? It's like cured and you can eat it streaky, but it's just gross. I don't know how true that is. The more and more I like hear myself say this, the more and more it sounds ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in. Um, it takes about 10 minutes. 10 11 minutes. Coffee water. I'll put that to your Um. Toilet. Soften up. By 10.08, we've done what? 10.18. 
I had to miss time this. Who cares? I'm making dinner for myself. Uh, dinner at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know. I think one of those things about. Um, this video taking a lot of inspiration from J. Kenzie Lopez Alt. Uh, I kind of like his whole, um, like, uncut deal. Uh, mine's a little bit more stuff since I don't have a GoPro strapped to my head. Uh, luckily I'm short so you can still see me in the shot. Um, this bacon's cooking. But yeah, his, uh, videos are super cool, man. Um... Real like scientific approach to cooking, which I dig. A uh, little bit of everything for everybody. I have this uh, bought this bacon from my farmer's market well, this week. I was craving BLT, uh, so I went out, bought some like really nice tomatoes, some really nice bacon, and some Dave's Killer Bread. Um, say what you will, they did go a little corporate, but I mean, still good bread, man. I do a little bit of this. Yeah, it works. So, I picked a uh, stainless steel pot for this. Or stainless steel pan, I'm sorry. Um, don't know if it was the best choice. It's bacon sticking a little. I could have done a little more uh, oil. Um, it should come out when I uh, add the pasta to it. Pasta water is weird, man. I'm not gonna get into like the science of it, but I don't really get how it works. I'm obviously there's starch in the pasta water that helps like cohese it together with stuff. It's freaky. Same thing with like gelatin, man, it's freaky. Um, at my old job, we used to make like a bunch of pork stock, and pork is like super gelatinous. So we'd like put it in the fridge overnight, and of course like the fat would rise to the top, like it does. But then like the stock itself would be like jelly, super freaky. Next time I make this dish, um, for one, I'll buy a new cheese grater, because that is like no dice, man. It's like a, got a nice little bicep pump though, but super scuffed. Uh, but I really don't know how much better it's gonna get. Um, but I do need a new like microplane or something for like ginger, because it doesn't really work for that. It just kind of gets stuck. Yeah, so uh, in terms of like, cooking, I love cooking Italian food, um, traditional or not. It's just like a lot of fun to make. So like here, it's what, like, one, two, four and a half ingredients. Um, but it all comes together. I have this like theory in my brain, you call it like, racist or whatever but you know obviously the frenchman is um quoted with uh creating modern cuisine right good old french cooking but uh, i think it's just because like they had to do more with less does that make sense and like indian stuff indian cuisine is like super tough i need to get into that but Obviously, they had, like, a bunch of spices, which does take skill to cook, don't get me wrong. But, like, French patisserie, all the stuff they do with, like, butter. It's, like, the same dishes, just, like, five, six, seven, a million different ways. Same ingredients, just, like, a, a bunch of different ways to do them. If you look at, like, the French mother sauces, like, they're all... Pretty much the same thing, just cooked differently. Which, I mean, it's for everything. 
but because they just had like more boring food um i guess they just had to like cook it differently which ended up some cool food ah. so i'm gonna try to get a receptacle to catch this pasta water like i said pasta water is just some sort of cul culinary magic, man. It's freaky. Um, this bacon is pretty much where I want it. Let me show you guys. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. Whatever. But yeah. Just like a little bit cooked, a little bit of chew. Uh, it's not really like a crispy bacon dish. It's not really what I'm going for. Oh, no. The rice cooker. So I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Um, this pasta needs about like four more minutes. Timing on. Um, I've never like successfully made my own pasta. Um, it's super tough. I don't know, I just don't have the best luck with those, man. Um, that goes to like any breads I've made. I'm just, it's not my dealio. Um, but I also don't have a... I'm just going to turn this off for now. I don't have like a sheet. What's it called? Pasta roller. Like the machine that like rolls it out for you. So I couldn't get it like super thin. Which I mean, I guess Italian grandmothers were doing back in the day. But, you know, what am I going to do about it? Not make it. I'm scared this bacon's going to be like crispy. But like I said, who cares, man? I don't. I'm just going to put it to the side of the pan. So it cooks less. A little amount of fat rendered up. Huh. Also got some raw honey. Farmer's market. Um, believe it or not, it's up to you. Helps with uh, local allergies. Uh, because it makes a lot of sense. Uh, bees go to local flowers and you're allergic to local pollen, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoon. Just a little shot for you guys. Tastes like honey. What can I say? A little bit. I wish I had like a palate, man. Just like people who taste things and know what to say about them. The honey was like a little brighter than like store bought honey I get, you know? Well, it tastes a, bit, a little bit more spring than winter. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm sure someone will agree with me. I'm gonna come over to my house. We can take honey shots together. Uh, my dad's been making me uh, I've had, like, a little hot recently. My dad loves making this thing. The ginger honey lemon tea. Super nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, last time I had it, though, I didn't put the um, honey or the lemon in it, so it's just kind of like spicy ginger tea. Which on its own was like actually pretty good, um, but it was definitely not what he intended. I'm gonna turn this uh, pan back on. Uh, this pasta is almost done. Let me check it out. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Two noodles, two nudes. Uh, feels hard. Ah. Yeah. Got a minute or two. 
Um, last pasta dish I made, it was just like some like cherry tomatoes and pasta pretty much. But I timed the um, pasta cooking pretty good because you don't want it to cook all the way here or else it's like mushy there. Get all done too. I'll wait like another 30 seconds. So what's your day like been mad? Comment down below. I care about you guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite shirts actually. Uh, it's got a shark on it. He's like playing Marco Polo. But he looks like really scared about it. Don't know his deal, man. Yep, okay, so I'll make sure this pan's still hot. Am I breaking it? There it is. A little crispy. Oh well. And I'm just gonna dump the pasta in because it's fine if a little water gets in there because I'm putting water back in anyways. Okay. Or it could just fall off. Clean down a little. Yep. Um, I really want to get over to this. So I don't want it to stick. That's all the pasta I'm going to get. Um, start stirring. Yeah, it's getting all of, like the um, crusted bacon at the bottom. Um, a little bit of water. Just a little bit. I'm gonna throw the word deglaze at you. Yep, looks nice today and creamy. I'm gonna grab a spatula. Um, it's usually more liquidy than this, but, you know, I can't make it perfect since it's recipe for one. It's just kind of weird. Oh, it's just kind of gloppy. That's okay. It'll loosen up when I start cooking. Kind of like, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like lemon juice. And then just quickly don't scramble the eggs. It'd be really embarrassing to like scramble tonight right now. Oh, that looks so good. Alright, that's done, man. Yeah, it's done. I'm gonna bowl it. I'm a big bowl enjoyer. It's super creamy, man. Oh, that's the one. Oops. Look at it. Yeah, man. Bacon, egg, and cheese. But what, what more could you want? It's kind of a lot for me. Eggs a little scrambled. Um, but you know what? I'm not gonna stress it too much. Just cooking for myself. Plates kind of off. Um, let me taste it. Yeah, eggs a little scrambled. That's cool, man. So good. Doesn't need any more cheese. Um, I'm gonna throw a little bit more pepper in. So cheesy. Um, I probably, you know what I should have done? I should have thrown a little bit of water in with the cheese and the egg so that doesn't cook too fast and it's a little bit more wet but you know what live and you learn man here's my little home good night hey guys no i said the video is done but
little taste check. Um, so the bacon's like crispy enough. Uh, it tastes super smoky, super bacony, super fatty just because of the cheese, the egg. I pulled the pasta just the right time. Honestly, if anything, it's like too much cheese. Uh, the bacon's crisp. Super flavorful still. Um, so yeah, next time I'll add water in with the egg. Get a little bit more wet, cook it a little bit more. Other than that, man, it tastes like breakfast. Bacon, egg, cheese, pepper, pasta. Super simple. I love you.